Hola, welcome to Cocina Valencia. Bienvenido a la Cocina Valencia. We are making the perfect chocolate chip cookie con chocolate mexicano. Our cookies will be the perfect combination of airy, cakey, and moist with gooey melted chocolate chips. The chocolate mexicano adds a nice, rich Mexican flavor that reminds me of my early childhood days drinking Mexican hot chocolate that my mom used to make for us. The traditional chocolate mexicano is chocolate abuelita or ibarra, which comes in these traditional rounds, which can be shaved down and used in the recipe, or you can buy the powder form, as in this one, which is much easier to use. Alternatively, you can find Mexican hot chocolate sold at some Mexican cafes, like this one that I purchased in Southern California, which already includes the cinnamon in it, which is a nice add. Whichever brand you choose and wherever you purchase it works very well when using with this recipe for chocolate chip cookies. Now, let's get started. The ingredients are half a cup of chocolate mexicano, quarter cup of sugar, two and a quarter cups of flour, quarter cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one of salt, 14 tablespoons of butter at room temperature, super important when baking cookies, and two eggs also at room temperature, very important when baking cookies, and one to two cups of chocolate chips. And that varies depending on your liking of how many chocolate chips you like in your cookies. I also always like to have my cooling rack for cooling the cookies when they come out of the oven and my sill pad as well as my baking sheet and spatula ready to go. Always begin by mixing your butter, which is always at room temperature, and your sugars. And you want to cream that. I'll put my Mexican hot chocolate, chocolate mexicano, the white sugar, the brown sugar, and we'll mix that up. I've made chocolate chip cookies hundreds of times and decided why don't I put a little Mexican twist to it, which should be nice. That's your vanilla and you'll add your eggs one at a time. And that's just on number one setting. You don't want to mix too much after this. There's your first egg. Remember, room temperature eggs, large eggs, makes a difference. And there's the second egg. And that looks good in there. So now we'll incorporate our dry ingredients and give it a little mix. And then we'll incorporate these into our mixer. You don't want to incorporate the entire dry ingredient at once. So at this speed, about a quarter cup at a time, and you'll start to see it come together. And lastly, we'll add some chocolate chips. Not until this has incorporated all together. I'm going to stop it because it's coming together quickly so I'll add the rest of it in so the key to a fluffy chocolate chip cookie is one not to over mix and two not to combine all at once so a quarter cup at a time works well. 
and let's continue to mix. And remember to scrape down on the sides. Starting to come together nicely. KitchenAid, you'll always kind of have to scrape the very bottom also. I found after my tons of cooking, or baking and cooking. That looks good. Nice consistency. Let me lift it up so it can show. It's basically perfect before we add our chocolate chips. Alrighty, so now we add a, our chocolate chips. Now I love to use Guitar. I'm a dark chocolate fan. So we'll add those there. And you can put in how many, however many or however little, however many you desire. Um, I like to start with a cup and go up from there if desired. And then we'll mix that quickly. Just till incorporated. Not too much. Again, you don't want to over mix. And if your dough feels soft at this point, then you can always put it in the refrigerator before you start scooping it onto your baking sheet. Now this is the perfect consistency that you want your dough. You don't want to mix it any more than this. Perfect consistency. So now we're ready to scoop them. And I like to use this kind of a little larger than small size scooper. You can use it for cupcake batter or you can use it for chocolate chip cookies. And you take that, take a scoop. Uh, you can use two spoons as well, but I like to use this for consistency. And then you have the same size, kind of larger than a walnut shape. Um, same size so that they can cook evenly and you continue as so. And while you're doing it, and while these are baking in the oven, you can put the batter, the rest of your remaining dough, not batter, into the refrigerator while this first batch is baking. And here we have it, our Nicely uniform, but don't have to be perfect. Dough rounds, and we'll place them in the oven. Now you could always freeze your dough and it will work out well when you pull it out. Just wrap it in some saran wrap. You can also place it in a gallon size bag after you, you wrap it and place it in the freezer or refrigerator for a couple days. Now about midway through, you want to turn your cookie sheet just to get it all even. And remember, cooking time will vary based on your oven and how it's calibrated, etc. So 10 minutes was my start, but I always check it and you can go a minute longer, a minute less, whatever it looks like. And I will show what the cookie should look like when it's done. Here goes my timer. I always like to pull one out and I will sacrifice this one, close it up. And they're not done yet. So see how it's so gooey? So I put it in for another two minutes. So our timer is just about to go off again. And you don't want to continue to open your oven too much because the temperature will drop and that'll change the baking. So be careful not to do that if when you're checking it. Um, now I look at them 
and I can tell just by eyeballing them that they look much better and you can actually feel it. Here we have our beautifully baked chocolate chip cookies with a Mex Mexican twist with chocolate mexicano with a little bit of canela cinnamon. So we'll take one of these and place them here so I can plate them. And my hands, because I bake so much, I can do it, but it does get hot after a while. I like them to cool on my cooling rack. And they look perfectly done. Who doesn't like a chocolate chip cookie? Especially with a Mexican twist. Buen provecho. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube at Cocina Valencia and Cocina.Valencia on Instagram. I welcome your likes and feedback in the comments. Enjoy and buen provecho.